Okay, in my last video, we had got the best uh, diodes now. Uh, today, you can see it rained a little while ago. Sky is solid clouds. Not real dark ones, though, but solid clouds. Uh, here's our regular circuit with our regular germaniums 1N34A DO7s forty three point seven volts now we're gonna try this one over here the 1N34A DO35s 43.8 all right let's see what we get with that one okay that took a while that took about four times longer to get up to full voltage as that one did that one we got uh, 43.8 volts our normal diodes that we've used originally this is the 1N34A DO35s. And you can see 40.9, we're 41. I'll call it a 41. Okay, now let's try these ones 1N4148. Okay, 1N4148. Suggested by cruise missile. Thank you, thank you, thank you, cruise missile. <laughs> Look at that, guys. And we did just hit 80 a minute ago, just off the video camera. 79.7. It did hit 80. Oh, going down? What the heck? Go up. We were at 80. I'm calling it an 80, man. 80 volts huge difference wow excellent new record now I'm thinking back about a few videos back where I charged a large capacitor and I used a circuit that only had about 31 32 volts and I charged that capacitor up to the source voltage uh, and it took like three hours which isn't bad but now and and actually we were able to generate like a three inch long spark and it was loud and that was a lot of energy and that was 30 volts I bet I could charge that capacitor <laughs> in less uh, charge it up to 30 volts in, in half the time, maybe only one hour. Uh, hmm, yeah, this is excellent. God, hit that 80 again, man. <laughs> Very nice. There it is. 80. 80 volts. It's on record now. It's official. 80 volts. Huge difference. We have a new diode now. Excellent. 